Hi, I'm Ben and you're watching Batarang to the Butt, and in some terribly exciting news, James Gunn recently announced that DC Studios are working on a film called Dynamic Duo. It's a movie about the first two Robins, Dick Grayson and Jason Todd. As a Batman fan, I'm super excited to see Robin receiving some cinematic recognition. It's happening! Emerges a hero. They're finally going to make a movie about me! Alfred, the movie. It's been a hot minute. The last time Robin hit the big screen was in the Lego Batman movie. My name's Richard Grayson, but all the kids at the orphanage call me Dick. Well, children can be cruel. Yeah. And by the way, Michael Cera was an inspired choice to play Lego Robin, and it is a crime that we did not get a Lego Batman sequel. I don't feel anything emotionally except for rage. In my experience, Batman has a great track record of being in amazing animated films up on the big screen. I recently got to see Batman Mask of the Phantasm at the cinema, and it kicks so much ass. It's so dope. I ascended. So between that and the Lego Batman movie, that's two for two. It's pretty impressive. So perhaps that's another reason why I'm excited to see Dynamic Duo. But anyway, the early days of Dick Grayson and Jason Todd have never really been intertwined in the comics, so I'm very curious to see what the story of this film will be. Being Batman's sidekick is a pretty unique experience, and the pair have been able to bond over it in the comics although they don't always get on. Dick Grayson eventually grew beyond Batman's shadow and became Nightwing, an incredibly respected and revered hero in his own right. Jason's story is not quite as optimistic. He is the Robin who died, killed by the Joker. Eventually he came back, but he brought a lot of baggage with him and became the vigilante known as the Red Hood. Bruce, I forgive you for not saving me, but why? Why on God's earth? Is he still alive? In these newer personas, Grayson and Todd would often butt heads. However, ultimately, they share a brotherhood. That's the simplified version of decades of comic continuity. I'm not sure how much of it Dynamic Duo will cover, or even how comic accurate it will be. Are we going to see this version of Jason Todd die at some point? Will this movie act as a prequel to the planned live-action Brave and the Bold movie? Will we see Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, or Damian Wayne? There's a lot to speculate on. We don't know a lot, but this film hasn't been promoted as an Elseworlds story, which means this may be an integral piece of the new DC Cinematic Universe. These characters may appear again, perhaps the voices in the film may become the actors for any upcoming live-action appearances. It's also being written by Matthew Aldrich, who also wrote Pixar's Coco. And Lightyear. Robots can't quite say buzz, so around here I'm just zerg. But Coco is great. Like I said, as a comic fan, I am stoked. However, as a film fan, I'm even more excited. As this movie is the first feature-length film to be produced by Swaybox Studios, using a technology known as Momo Animation which is a cross between CGI animation, practical elements of stop motion, and live action real time performance. We have no previews of the film yet, but this footage is from the studio's other projects and test reels. For example, here they challenge themselves to recreate a sequence from the Iron Giant in their unique style. The results are pretty dope. I think Dynamic Duo has incredible potential, and so I will be there on day one, first in line. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this has the potential to be the new Spider-Verse, a beautifully animated film focusing on legacy characters. But what do you think? Are you excited about this movie? Or are you still hung up on the Snyderverse stuff? Let's argue about it down in the comments. Worst movie ever! And send and sip. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'd love it if you left a like and check out the Facebook page for even more geeky good stuff just like this. Next, next summer, the story of Batman's greatest ally. That's me! That must be me! And best friend in the whole wide world. Uh, finally! Thank you for making a movie about... Utility Belt. What? The movie.